See if we can get this fixed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Ha! Huh. All right, so coming back on. I am not sure what just happened, but that was really, really weird. I apologize, everybody. I'm not sure what just happened there. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, everything just went. Yeah, welcome back, everyone. I apologize for that. I am not sure what just happened, but all streams just cut out and just stopped. I am not sure. That's a first. So, back up and running now. Eh, that was a little weird. Caught me off guard. I am not sure what just happened. Should I be worried? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what just happened. That was really weird. It's like we bumped up to like 100 and something plus viewers, and then everything just shut down. Uh, it sh it, the whole app shut down too. So maybe when the app shut down, it shut down the stream. I don't, I'm not sure. That was really weird. Hopefully the app didn't update while I was streaming. That's a possibility. So, well, I'm back now. <laughs> oh, one of these days. Hey, Ship Roman. How you doing, buddy? Ah, I always apologize. This is where I am. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Phil is actually in the other chat. <laughs> so, we are back, guys. So, like I said, the first product today, we're going to be doing an actual unboxing I have this product on hand. This is actually a pretty cool product that I hope to get to start testing at some point. This is the Rai Wi-Fi 6 router, guys. This is an AX3200 mesh router. Now, this has eight omnidirectional antennas for extra strong uh, service in your house, guys. This should help stop most dead spots in your house. Now, if you do have a dead spot, this actually has a mesh system where you can actually connect up some of their mesh pods or their other routers to and help clear up all of those extra spaces. Now, the cool thing is, is this will do approximately over 2,000 square foot house up to about, I believe, 3,000 square feet, which is really good. Now, they say you can actually connect 128 devices to this, but I say about 78. Don't go overboard, guys. Always give it a little bit of uh, extra little you know, tendencies just in case. It does have four lame gigabit ports on the back of this, guys, which is actually very nice to have with that. So you do have a user manual. If you guys need the user manual, you know, that's one of the things. But if you guys haven't seen one of these, we're going to show you guys this. I have a Netgear that has plenty of them. This is actually cool. You have one RJ45 Ethernet cable, guys, if you need it, flat wound cable. And that they do have that. Then they have your power brick, guys. Just the standard power brick, just like that. You know, standard power brick. Most people have already know what a power brick is. Then you have the device. The device looks like a square, of course. For now, till we open it up. Inside this is where you'll see your router and all the antennas, which is actually pretty cool. But I'm going to kind of show you guys something first. If you need more coverage, this is the mesh button. This button will help pair this device with the other Rai, or Ray uh, devices that you need throughout the house because you can get extenders for the mesh system. Uh, most small apartments probably will not need this. Now, eight antennas. Yes, you heard that right. Eight antennas, Wi-Fi 6, guys. So just slide these antennas up and you start seeing what this little alien looks like. You have all the antennas to help push out a signal throughout your house. This is just amazing. Now, cool thing is, is back here, of course, you have your input. This input will have to connect to your modem from your cable company. That is how this will get its signal. Then you have your four ports, guys, four of them right there, which is really good to have four ports. You also have a reset 
just in case you forget all your login information, you have a reset button. That reset button is actually quite important for most people. Now, this is uh, Wi-Fi 2.4 and Wi-Fi 5 gig, so you do have both of those. Now, the 2.4 gigahertz, guys, will actually only get about 800 megabytes of speed. So remember, 5 gigs is going to get a higher uh, speed, of course, up to 2,400 megabytes. So, you know, be your choice, pick and choose. You guys will get the full app. When you log into this, guys, they do have the... Um, the little uh, IP address that you log into, then it'll pull up their app. You sign up to the app on the line, set up your own passwords, uh, your own usernames. Like if you guys want each Wi Fi band changed, you can change the five gigahertz to any name you want, then make a password to it. I always suggest making a separate name and password for each Wi Fi signal that you have. That is very important. That way, you don't automatically start logging in and taking away from the other Wi Fi signal. Uh, it's just one of the things I have modems and routers in my house. Each one has its separate username and password. Now, a couple other things that they say is, uh, you know, besides the one click mesh system, it will actually connect within a minute of connecting, which is really good to have. Then you have the 180, 28 devices that they say that can actually connect up to this or 78 preferably. Uh, yeah, I can't mention that, but you could. Thank you. The eight high gain antennas, guys, these are FEM high performance signal amplifying antennas, which should help push through at least two to three walls, which is really great. Now, my place, I have several walls going to the back room, so we're going to find out if this can actually do that. Now, I do still have a dead spot in my house, even with my router and modem, and that is the very back bedroom corner where the her TV is. We're going to test that out and see how well we can do this. So a whole bunch of things, guys. This is actually very good. I mean, mesh, you know, mesh system with Wi-Fi 6. That's all the newest and greatest stuff, which is really great. Plus the eight antennas. This should be an actual little beast of a product. If you guys need to see, there is the name. There is your mesh system button, guys. I'd show you the bottom, but that has all the information that I ain't going to show you today. <laughs> uh, any questions about this product, please ask, guys. I will try and answer as much as I can. So just a quick little unboxing of a new router that we're going to be playing with, guys. I'm going to actually have fun with this one. I'm going to get rid of my one alien for another alien. And if you guys need to put it away, guys, of course, just start sliding the antennas down. And you're good to go. Breaks down a nice little space. Now that little spiel's over, yes, uh, Phil, there is a $40 clippable coupon today, so that brings it down to about $109 for this uh, piece of a little uh, router. Any questions, guys? Now, this is the E5, so that is the model number, guys. Any questions? Anybody? How you guys all doing? So how's everybody's day going? Anybody got breakfast? I'm hungry. Can we start off this stream with a big plate of food? Everybody would enjoy that, right? Ah, uh, hello, Joanna. Hey, you might get a white good Wi-Fi signal that way, sis. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure Phil said he was cooking for the East Coast folks. Um, the West Coast folks are on your own. <laughs> uh, it is already so hot in here. It's crazy. All right. So, guess I'm starving. Uh, hey, you, you could always order takeout. I hear Grubhub's good. Um, maybe. I don't know. Guys, so we're going to pop over. We're going to start talking about a couple products that I actually love and have on hand. These are the WiMAX uh, projectors, guys. Of course, the WiMAX Nova is the short throw projector, which is just a, a, a beast of a projector. Uh, you know, it is $2,100, but I'm telling you guys, if you guys want a high-end projector... 
that just has that that picture quality of like going to the movie theater. The Nova is the one to get. This is literally the 4K of the beast. Um, most of the time, those people just really. Uh, I don't know. I didn't eat this morning. I I literally, and I'll admit it. I pulled out a box of Lucky Charms to make a bowl of cereal, and I ended up not doing it. The box is still sitting there. <laughs> I decided to stream instead. I probably should have ate. That's one of the things. So we're going to show you guys this. The Wii Max Nova is just an awesome projector. I'm going to switch scenes. We're going to go over here. We're going to show you guys this. Now, if you guys have been around, you've seen the Wii Max Nova. I'm going to also show you guys the Wii Max Vogue Pro that I actually have. Today, we broke out the Wii Max Nova projector. This is a... Uh, we're just going to let this show, and I'm going to talk while it's doing it instead of actually you guys hearing it. I'm going to tell you guys, we're going to be playing some video games. We're going to be showing you guys some stuff. But this is a full Android 9.0 system, guys. Um, they do update it, so the Android might go higher as you get updates, which is great. You have the full internet TV package of all of the Google Play uh, app store at your hand. So every TV station that you probably uh, pay for, you could probably download, including Apple TV on this, guys. So you're golden. This does have the Google um, Voice Talk, so you can talk to it to, to set it up and get all your other stuff. You have several HDMI inputs on this, guys, plus an optical input, which is great. The HDMIs and the opticals automatically read what the device is and tells you what it is. Like if you have an Xbox hooked up, it'll tell you it's an Xbox. If you have a PlayStation hooked up, it'll tell you it's a PlayStation. Uh, Bluetooth, or uh, not Bluetooth, um, but home theater tells you it's a home theater, which is really great to have that option. And as you guys see my big head dropping down over there. Now I will tell you guys that playing this game is a beautiful, beautiful picture. The, the, the camera does not do this uh, projector justice whatsoever, and it never will, unfortunately. That's just one of them things that happens. Um, but I do suggest having an ALR or CLR projection screen for these projectors. Uh, good morning, Donna. The CLR and ALR means ceiling light rejecting and uh, ambient light rejecting. It just helps take out that little extra light from the sides or the tops and just gives you the projector screen lighting. Now, some drawback to that, some of them screens can, you know, actually block out some of the projection screen. But the nicer ones actually work very well, and it's just amazing. As you guys see, even playing video games, there is no lag in the games. It's just one of them things that works very well. I do have plans on redoing new videos of these projectors. So, now that I showed you guys a little bit of the Wii Max, uh, Wii Max Nova, I'm going to hop over and I'm going to show you guys... The Wii Max Vogue Pro. Now, the Wii Max Vogue Pro is a little different than the Wii Max Nova, as in, you know, it actually has to sit away. The Wii Max uh, Nova actually has 30, uh, 30 watts of power of the DTS. This one, I believe, has like 20 watts of power. So they both have a nice sound pro uh, product in that. Means it in regards to the projector tech. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I try to put that out there as much because most people will just grab a basic uh, movie screen. And when you're using the higher end projector, you know, you don't really want to just use that $30 screen. That $30 screen isn't going to give you the best picture quality that you can get out of it. If you're, you know, if you're dropping $2,100, $2,200 on a projector, spend the extra $400 and get that nice screen. I mean, they do go from range from around 400 all the way up to like a thousand, but the screen makes a big, big difference. Now, the Wii Max Vogue Pro guys is a little or cube, but it has to sit farther away. Unlike the, you know, I bought a twin. You, know, I did the same thing. So the first screen that we got was in like the 50 to 60 dollar range. And it worked well for certain videos, but then we got a different screen. It was around 90 to 100. And we did the first video of the Wii Max with that. And then after watching it back, I noticed that the screen was waveformed. Was not happy with it. And we did end up getting a better screen. I just haven't had time to re-update a lot of videos. So at some point, that is my plan. My plan is to get a wall-mounted one. Or uh, 
you know, a rising screen. That way I can just have it permanently out. Would be cool. Now, let's see, which one's this? Oh, we do not show you guys the cube of this. I would love to show you guys the cube. So we're gonna play this little video and show you guys the Ginger, difference quality. That's where you'll see the waveform of the junk screen. Smart projector, guys. I'm not happy with that screen. On. You guys are gonna see it light up. As you guys see, we're lit up, we're powered on. We Still Android 9.0, guys. Launcher if we need to launch has all the right? tech is the other. We have well, TV. almost we all have, the tech. Uh, Firefox. It does have the laser. It doesn't it. have all that other you stuff. You guys can see this. We just load Firefox. Now, I will tell you guys something. This WiMAX Vogue Pro actually has auto keystone correction. It automatically corrects itself and adjusts to the screen positioning where you set it, unlike the, the other one, which is just cool. Firefox, pick what we want. We can go... And do hey, what Dawson. we need. Hey, doing, buddy? We can go back to home. User manual. Focus. If you guys need to refocus this, it will automatically focus, as you guys can see. It will focus itself. Unlike my camera that was not focusing. To the perfect part. Now we go back to home page. We are done with the autofocus. Keystone correction. It can do a quick adjustment. If you want to do a quick adjustment yourself, you can do you auto can keystone or uh, manual. You can adjust it perfectly. Which is really cool. Okay. And we're done. When the circle is figure is above properly displayed in the aspect ratio, as you guys can see, this you can adjust talking. this if you really need. But we are so you click that and start going and adjusting if you really need. But it allergies looks good. Man. So we're gonna pop back to home screen. Feedback. If you need feedback, right? Cast projection, file manager, or settings. If you need settings, we'll go to settings. You have network settings, system settings, energy settings, security, about image sound, Bluetooth, and peripherals. So you can actually Bluetooth. You know, that is one thing I didn't actually mention, guys. These do have Bluetooth, so you can actually connect a keyboard and mouse to these if you really wanted. I totally forgot about that in this. And a couple other things that I didn't remember is you can actually cast your phone to these projectors. So, guys, you can literally turn your phone into, like, let's say you want to play your Netflix through your phone. It'll actually let you cast it through, which is really cool to have that option. I totally forgot about that. To the end of this device. File manager. If you guys have files, you can go in here. Bluetooth and go speakers. Yes, you can add Bluetooth soundbars. Gina, cast welcome. Per, uh, cast projection. You can project your Good phone morning. onto this device. Bluetooth speaker or inputs. If we go to inputs... Let's connect up to this one. Let's see. Let's see if we got input two. We do not have that one. So we'll go back out. Input. And, and you guys see, Nintendo. this one reads what it is too. It'll actually read it's a Nintendo Switch. I love that it can auto detect that. It's just Nintendo amazing Switch. that it can do that with that tech. Now the Nintendo Switch is hooked up. Now guys, this has a speaker. This actually has a pretty powerful speaker. So let's grab a game. Oh, what oh, needs is to update the software. So we'll do a quick little update. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, now that we're uh, back, You know, I just did some Nintendo Zelda. Switch products the other let's day. Grab me. Whole bunch let's of new controllers. And you guys will hear the sound as we're playing. And I'll even adjust the volume up louder so you guys can hear it a little more. As you guys can see, we're not perfectly at 120 inches on the 120-inch screen, but you can see it looks great. It's actually very bright, very adjustable. We're going to click Continue. We're going to click Start here. You guys are now hearing Hey, you guys can hear that speaker, actual, right? The, the projector itself. I'm it telling you, the speakers are loud speakers, on these. It has 10 watts of power, which is actually, I believe, actually 10 more than 10 watts. I don't play Fortnite. No. Well, I've never yeah, even touched Fortnite. Right back while it loads. Pokemon. Okay, now Pokemon. that we got it Zelda. loaded up, you guys, as you can see, it is loaded. It's updated. We have... Right there, guys, you can actually see the coloration of this. And I, like I said, the cameras are never going to do these projectors uh, justice, but they work very well. I'm telling you, they're actually worth spending that little extra cash to get these projectors. Really, really worth it. Oh, we're going to be going to the... Portable oven next, guys. This is actually from Rotogoon. This is a little cool product.
Dame Sugar. Today we're taking a quick look at a new product. And this full is set is Dame again. This is their portable oven, guys. This does come in multiple hey guys, sizes new and merch. wattages. What this, trouble. of course, is the 12 volt, 45 watt version. <laughs> it is actually nine and a, nine and a half inches by seven and a half by four, or almost four point nine, almost five inches tall, which is great. Now it does have a heating element get inside, guys. This. You can cook on this with glass, ceramic, cardboard, aluminum, metal, or plastic dishes. I should now plug it, it out in the car and just test it for the day. Now the cool part about this is you can. You know what? I have a better idea. I Justin, if you're listening in, I need one of those portable inverters for the house. So I can plug a cigarette lighter in. I want to start testing these products in home. <laughs> plug this into the car and you're good to go and you're cooking on the go. Now I'm going to unfold this out and kind of show you guys this. This product is actually really cool. But the first thing That'd is... That'd be cool to cook something this at home. The little cooking thing that tells you how to cook from scratch. So yes, you can cook raw ingredients in this. Now, if you're cooking prepped, pre-made food, 40 to 60 minutes... To, uh, uh, prep time to actually get that cooked up so not a big deal of wait time for that literally 40 to 60 minutes and your meal is hot and you're good to go now if you're cooking raw food it's a slow cooker so a slow cooker means it'll take three plus hours approximately i apologize guys if you hear so, the sirens five to six hours if you're cooking like raw chicken and stuff depending on the size of the food so just remember that now the cool thing is is it comes with two different style straps first you have the shoulder strap, which is great. Now you guys see we have the black version shoulder strap. Then you have the hand strap, but the hand strap can actually turn into a backpack carrier or a luggage carrier. So you just clip it around it and you're good to go, which is cool. Now you yeah, have Yeah, I can't device. wait for the new Zelda. It's actually flattened, but if you open it up, you have the insulated and uh, mirrored style or aluminum style covering. That is to help reflect the heat around to heat it up. Then you have the cord. Now, the cord is cool because it's plenty long enough, guys, but it leaks. It comes out the back, and you can put it in either side of the pockets to come out. And I can actually keep pulling this out. We'll kind of pull this whole element out and show you guys. With it out, there is your full length of cord. And it has to plug into a That's cigarette a lighter. It was in your nodded. Car. I see either it there. direction. Then you have your heating element, guys. Right here is your heating element. Just simple, easy, guys. Nice little product. Again, this is from Rotogoon. This is their portable oven. Thank you for checking out this video and have a great one. So it's a cool little product, guys. Actually, really nice to actually have that option. Let's say you have uh you work on a job site or you have a family member that works on the job site, maybe your significant other. They can actually have a warm meal instead of having to stop and buy, let's say, McDonald's or something. This gives you that option to have a warm meal at the job site or even cook a fresh meal on the go. Let's say you guys are doing a family trip to um, another state or something. This gives you that option to cook up something warm. Maybe you guys want to stop at a, like a little stop, rest stop area on the way. This will give you that option to actually have a nice little meal on the go. I think that's actually really cool. A lot of people don't do that. They just stop and grab the, you know, the most unhealthiest thing that they can grab. And, you know... You know, a lot of us can actually, you know, benefit from that. I mean, I do. I I, I love this option. And I literally kept this on purpose because I planned on using it. But then I didn't go out of town for a uh, vacation, so I didn't use it. But it looks like I'm going to have something coming so we can actually test it at home. Uh, thank you, guy. Hey, Danielle, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Hey, 15% off clippable coupon. Thanks, sis. That's actually a really, really good deal. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. So, we are going to actually test this at home at some point. I'm going to have fun with that now. Thank you, mister. He knows who I'm talking to. All right, the O-Clean X Pro Electric Toothbrush, guys. If you guys are in the market for an electric toothbrush that can do 42,000 VP uh, rotations per second, here we go. This is the one for you. Well, hello everyone. My name is Jeff, and oh, I'm here Jeff. to talk to you about this absolutely amazing hey, Jeff's got a shirt finally. Everything about this was absolutely impressive, but I, I want to start off with a box, believe it or not. I travel a lot for work, and I plan on keeping this box because this is going to be an excellent travel box for this. Right when you opened up, you get Yeah, guys, this does come in four here. colors. If you don't uh, want the black, the they do have a pink, a green, and I believe a blue. Well. But when you open that up, 
this is a very well organized. You have an area for your charging base, an area for your cord, and then an area for the toothbrush itself. Like I said, I travel a lot, so I really like that. Now, the charging base itself. I wish I traveled a lot. To use. Toothbrush I travel a lot from here to there, back again. It does come with a 3M backed adhesive, but like I said earlier, I travel, so I won't be using that oh, very much. But another neat thing, it's also. I, I have to question mode. that. I, I don't know if, if it's just me, but I am not 3M adhesing a base to my kitchen, my bathroom counter. I, it's just me. And I'm pretty sure my wife would not like that because she's a clean freak. And, you know, that's. Yeah, I'm, I'm with him. I wouldn't stick it to the, the counter. Cool, they give you the option for people that want that option, but I just would. Less chance of anything breaking by accident. The charging cable that it comes with, very simple and straightforward. You can plug into any USB charging outlet and you're good to go. And finally, it does come USB with a USB cover C? for your toothbrush head itself. Must be. This is great because it's going to help keep it clean and when you're traveling or moving around with it, it's going to help keep it from getting damaged. The head itself it is, is fully it removable. Is. So in the event that you ever need to change this out, like you're supposed to periodically, very simple and easy to do. Now onto the toothbrush itself. So I just got done brushing my teeth for the first time with this, and I was impressed. The motor on here does rotate at 42,000 RPM, but I, I never felt a toothbrush that made my teeth feel this tingly and clean afterwards, so I really like that. Um, it does have a two minute timer that is the base yeah. on here. But it says you need one of these. To whatever you want. And another neat feature that I really like and I want to show you is that every 30 oh, seconds good family with that two minute timer, it's going to have a weird vibration. It's going to be a nice little reminder to move on to the next quadrant in your mouth. So you can move from all four. It was just right there. So it helps you to make sure that you can remember to clean everything properly. And then finally, the toothbrush itself never had one that did this but this is a touch screen right here and you can go through and control various things via this so it gives you a report on where you cleaned and how well, well you cleaned as well so you got the joke did you areas that you might need to improve upon but you can also go My to bad. other modes on here it's just right one of the days all right clean, but if i wanted to i could switch this on over and take it to a whitening mode as well as a massage mode and on top of that each of those modes comes with the ability to control the overall sensitivity that you want to do. Some people like something or like a toothbrush that's a little bit uh, less harsh on their mouth. I so probably. The sensitivity. Hey, hey, does your dog like his teeth brushed? Because I'm I sure Justin's would chew it apart. 10 out of 20, which is right in the middle here. So, is it so guys, this has, you know, a two hour fast charger. So within two hours, your thing is fully charged. Will last up to 30 days. You have three modes. 32 intensities, which is really good. And it's a sonic style, which means the rotations are a sonic vibration of 20 th or the, the 42,000 uh, VPM, which is a little different than RPM. VPM, it's just a vibrating pulse instead of a rotating pulse, So, which is actually really cool. You know, with the multiple heads, guys, it's just a nice option if you guys are looking for that. Now... I believe it's interchangeable with like the Oral-B uh, heads and stuff. So you should be good there if you guys are looking for another head. No, he tries to eat it. Hey, well, that, that, that's because you didn't teach him well. I mean, can you really teach him? <laughs> now we're going to be going over to a product from our friends over at Donner. This is their 39-inch electric guitar. And our buddy Mike did this for us. Uh, this is a great little video. If you guys have not seen this video, this, he's actually really good with the guitar. Hi, my name is Michael Clark. I play in a band called Much Obliged, and I also stream oh. under the the moniker Val. I hear bass Bray outside. Sorry, and I'm here today to Thanks. review Gotta this look. Donner electric guitar. It's uh, styled like a Stratocaster from Fender. It's not exactly on on spot on with one, but you know, there's a lot of companies that do Stratocaster remakes, and this is a really nice one. I'm, I've been really happy with it. The, the color is really nice. It's a little hard to see with my lighting here, but it's like a nice dark green, as well as it comes with a, a whammy bar here. My kid does not and need no more guitars. And um, She's already got four. There's so many things that surprise me about this guitar. It sounds great. It's very comfortable to play. 
I don't have no tractors for dogs barking. What are you talking about? For a $169 guitar, I did not expect the sound quality to actually sound this great. And if you listen to it, that actually sounds really good. complaints about this guitar that I would say the, the thing that I don't like the most is just the tuners but it's not not even that big a deal and it's a very easy fix and it really does it even comes with a little push pull pot to switch your humbucker here to a single coil pickup like on command. that's cool switch it from single it comes to with dual. all sorts of tools I mean it comes with a, a carrying case it also comes with a bunch of allen wrenches to be able to fix your bridge and your trust rod in the neck it's a very very good choice for a starter guitar that you're trying to get into an electric All right. it comes with a nice little uh, quarter inch cable here that is very nice for plugging into your your amp with and remember and guys you will need an sounds, amp to play there's not this much hum to it at all while you're playing it it's a it's a great guitar i've been really enjoying it a lot now, that one thing he's talking about is some guitars, you'll actually hear a feedback hum when you plug them into the amps. And he's saying there's not much of it at all, which is actually a really good thing because I know one of my kids' guitars does it a little bit. She has a couple acoustics. She's got one electric and, well, she's got two electrics. One's a little spindier one that her father gave her, her, her other father. Um, so I, you know, that's just one of the things. And actually, it's cool to have the dual pickup. You'd be able to switch between single and dual pickup. If you guys are looking for a little beginner guitar, that's actually a good option for you. Now we're going to be moving over to an E7 headset, and this is from Silencias. And if you guys watched the last couple days, I was showing you guys a different E7 headset. And you guys are going to see the little difference, but you're also going to notice something the same, and that is the box. So let's show you guys this video of this E7 headset. James here with a quick unboxing and showcase. It's that fool again guys. talking this about James. Slances. This is their active noise canceling headphones. These are their E7. Hey, there's the box. This it's has the same a 30 hour battery life usage time, guys. So, so many boxes. They're all the same with like these E7s. Colors. We got it's the crazy. black version, I believe, here. So we're going to kind of show you guys this really kind of cool. Um, 45 millimeter drivers, guys, with the noise Now, I tell you, I had to pull this oh, off the back. Jazz. So, should be really decent, as long as we can get it open. They do have this big sticker back here. Oh, 28%. Right. Guys, you do have like seven or eight colors, so if you don't want this black or blue, they have a pink, they have a purple, they have a yellow. We'll pull that sticker off yellow. and hopefully get the box open. Was it yellow? So we can show you guys. Yes, it's card. a gold, a goldish yellow. A couple a blues, version, a purple, so a red, a green, and a white. There. I'm going to chuck that aside. Oh, and I don't want to sneeze. I'm going to pull that down. Scare everybody really in late. chat. So first things first, use your manual if you guys need it. It is Bluetooth, so you guys, just so you know, they do have this. Also yeah. tells you what the you buttons do that. on both sides of the things. Medium, playback, volumes, call functions, and all oh, that fair enough. stuff. How you doing, buddy? does have a microphone. Comes with USB to micro USB charging cable, Sad. which is very cool that they give you this. Plus, it comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone yeah. jack. We'll talk about that, guys. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. If you do not want to charge this headset and just want to use it as a regular headset, use the 3.5 millimeter plug. You don't have to worry about it being charged or not charged. The plug will actually just send the volume through it, so you're good there. If you want to use it as wireless, then definitely take the wire off. Jack will mean you can plug it into your phone, your laptops, or your computers, and not have to use a battery. 
Another nice little addition. We're going to set that aside. Don't really need it, right? Any tall products. Then we I have the headset. Coming up. Nice looking headset. I actually like the look of this blue. I do if like the blue. I'm telling you guys. That blue nice is really blue. nice. You guys will see a little bit of lighting. They do It's like a triple blue guys. on chrome. It does have, actually, that's a really good bend test. So, I like to bend test my headsets to see how much bend I can get. Or if I'm going to sit on them, will they break? Now, we will talk they about this, guys. Hooking it up's rather easy. You just set it up, turn the power on, hold the power down until the Bluetooth comes on. Pair it up with whatever device you're using, including the PC if it has Bluetooth. And then it goes on. The sound quality of this is very decent. It's comparable to, you know, what's on the market out there around the price range, which is actually quite good. Now, I did test it in some gaming just to see if it sounded good with gaming. It's not a gaming headset, guys. This is just... a uh, E7 noise uh, canceling headset, which means it's supposed to block out the background noise while you're listening to your music or talking on the phone. It can do that. It sounds good. Now, you know, it. the bass is, you know, good. It's not over heavy bass, so it really is a good, decent headset. And like my sister said, it does have a 28% clippable coupon today, which is actually a pretty decent deal for a headset if you guys are looking for one with multiple colors. You know, you don't have that just random pink headset. This has a couple different types of blues, has some purples, you know, just whatever you guys are looking for. We're going to be moving over to some products that I actually love. And this is from Lammy Call. Lammy Call is a great little company that makes some pretty phenomenal products for your phones. Now, the first one up is we're going to actually show you this full aluminum base phone stand. If I would have known we were showing this today, I would have got it out, of course, and showed you guys this live. I did not realize this was on here, even though I looked at all the stuff beforehand. Today, we're taking a quick look at the Lamy Call S1 phone stand, guys. This is actually a pretty cool phone stand. I, As you guys really probably nice know, one. I use the Lamy Call adjustable phone stand Ew. all the time for my iPhone. Guess what, guys? But I always need Lamy another Call. phone stand, Still so this one. one is actually really cool. We're going to pop this open. Morgan, you thank you for the follow. Look at this and show you this. And this happy is Friday. Really, really cool about this. So, it is a metal base stand, guys. Back here, you have a circle. This is cool. It's not sharp. It's actually rounded edge. So, you can stick your cord through. And I'll actually grab a cord real quick and kind of show you guys this. You literally could feed your cord through, guys, right? That way, you can have it set here and plug in your phone and have it charging or on tablet. the base. Now, the cool thing about this is, and I'm going to point out some of the stuff. You know, they, they're proud of their logo. They have the S1 on the back, so S1 stand. I love the laser Lamy engraved. Call, of course. Now, on the <laughs> bottom, it comes with these two feet, this two feet, and this foot right here, right? These rubber pads. But they actually give you this little paper here with all the extra feet. Now, I added the extra feet on because I have a new desk, and I want to really protect my desk. So I added this one yes, and this yes. one and this one to make it more... Uh, nice and adjustable but the cool thing is is you don't have to just stick it there guys you can put it up here if you really want if you need to a help little protect extra your phone or the device your phone or your tablet whatever you're going to stick in this now the cool thing is they do have the rubberized grip right here plus down here in this now this is a samsung s21 fits perfectly i mean just beautifully fits right now like i said if you guys want to sit your plug through and now the cool thing is, guys, you can actually do this in vertical mode or horizontal mode. Whatever choice you want, the phone will fit. It will not tip over. Now, I did test it with the tablet. Now, the tablet can sit one way on this stand, which is not a problem. You go, just go, you know, long ways of uh, the opposite, not like the phone is, and you're good to go. If you put it up the other way, it might get a little top heavy. And that's just, you know, just because tablets are so large. Maybe you have a smaller tablet. It'll actually work on this. So... Just don't think about it as a phone holder. It can be a phone holder or a tablet holder. They're both great options. Now, this is the S1. This is all aluminum. So that is actually a great option. Now, I'm going to jump forward slightly in the carousel to the Lamy Call phone stand that I am actually using right now. Now, this one's really cool, and I'm going to unplug the cable from it real quick and show you guys this. I have my phone on it. I use this thing daily. This Lamy Call product is really cool and actually is movable you can actually adjust it up and down and i'm going to switch scenes so you guys can actually see this a little more you can adjust this up and down just like this guys it can has height adjustable it also has 
the adjustable to lean your product back. Now, this thing will literally hold a tablet. Um, do I have my tablet around here? I think the wife actually has the tablet at work, or I'd show you guys the tablet. Set your phones in this, guys. It literally can hold a big phone or a small phone. No problem. The leaning capability helps a lot. You guys can go either direction. Now, the really cool part is, is this is fully rubberized back, and it will not scuff or scratch your phone at whatsoever. And even down here where it grabs it, it is padded. It has a nice little open front, so you actually can fit a cord in there and keep it charged while you're going. Now, if you need to break it down, of course, guys, it does break down. You can actually pull it apart. Don't worry about it. The whole bottom is fully rubberized. This will not scuff any surface that you put it on. And I love that it can actually do that without scuffing any product. Guys, Lamy Call makes some very good products, including this phone holder. I use it all the time for my, app, my Apple phone that I use chat with. This is literally how I'm seeing chat and running my carousel right now, guys. And it's actually a cool little product. Now we're going to go back to back to two different phone uh, holders for the bikes, guys. Now, I show you guys. Yeah, it really is a nice product. And I mean, I was one of the products I didn't think I was going to use. And now it's like it's become a permanent fixture on my desk, which is, you know, randomly I find a product that becomes a permanent fixture on my desk. This one actually worked out quite well and it stayed there. So we're going to be moving over to the bike ones, guys. These are the actual uh, phone holders for the bikes. These ones are really cool. We have two versions of this, guys. The first one is, um, I don't remember if it has a model number, but it can actually hold all the iPhones and stuff. We show you a couple versions. I do a couple videos, and we're going to show you guys this. Let me find the bike and scooter. James here with a quick unboxing and showcase of new product. Guys. BM02. This is, from this is our BM02. This is a bike full mount. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a bike here to kind of clamp this to and show you this. But this Sad connection I should work one. for any cell phones from like the iPhone 11 Pro Max to the S9s and so on. Now, this is uh, made with a clamping design, and I'll kind of show you now, guys Now, I will everything. tell you guys, this clamp actually will fit on a motorcycle handlebar if you have the space for it. Uh, a lot of Harleys don't have the space. Um, so if you need to mount it on a uh, motorcycle, it does have a big enough gap to fit a handlebar so you could do that if you have the certain type of bike that has that option or spacing now i know a lot of you bikers are going to be like i ain't putting a phone holder on my bike and i agree with you i wouldn't put it on my harley either just letting you know that it can actually fit uh, the roundness of it as we go let's <laughs> pop this open and kind of give you guys your first look at this first is you have the little instruction manual of course guys the instruction manual is going to actually kind of help you to tell you what pieces you have, how they work, and how they clamp together. I'll kind of walk you through that as I can. And we're going to grab a couple of this and then the foam mount itself. Now the foam mount. As you guys see, nice design, right? On the back, has a little locking mechanism right here, right? So you can lock it in place. I love it. that locking mechanism. Or you can open it up so you can... Locking mechanism nice works foam. great. Like, you know... Let's pop this up, just like that, guys, right? Let it close, then lock it in place, and it won't come out, so it's nice and tight in there. Now, let's pop that back open. Let's grab the phone out, kind of grab this. Let's grab all the pieces in this little kit and kind of show you guys this. So, hopefully, I can get, do this justice, guys, this way. So, right here is your bike clamp mount. and that is right. what i'm talking about guys it is big enough that it'll fit over a huge handlebar no problem and it has enough of the rubber in there to actually fit the gaps of different sizes so if you just want to go to a bigger handlebar let's say you guys have a one and a half inch or maybe a two inch handlebar pull a whole bunch of those uh the, the rubber rings out and only leave the last one in it should fit it so you have a lot of adjustment there this is where you'll unscrew this without now, marring you your handlebars, this, which is really great. It all the way out, of course. So I'm going to kind of show you guys this. You will need to pull it out, but just remember, don't lose that little washer. Guys, take all these rubber mounts, 
depending on how thick the bar is right here, um, you might need to pull a couple little rubber pieces out for the thickness, clamp it around the, the, the handlebars, then pull this back in, and then you tighten it up, right? Just keep tightening it until it's That's super don't tight. Don't over tighten it. Then latch it down in place like that. That's how you would lock that on there. It's nice. So that's the B1, guys. Now we're going to show you guys the next video. And I actually test this on, I found a, a, an idea that popped in my head. And I was like, I can actually test this on a round bar. So we're going to show you guys this next one, of course. And we're going to show you guys this, hooking it up on to my camera tripod. Uh, as kind of saying it's the handlebar. James here with a quick walkthrough of how to use your Lamy Call BM-02 bike full mount. As you guys see, we have it here. We've already done an unboxing but we're going to actually show you guys how to use it. And the best way to do this is actually use this camera mount pull. So that is my best. I really should get just get a Harley call good, right? Course, you guys have the bracket itself for the user or for the home phone. Then you have inside here is actually the mount. Now I'm going to pull this mount out. I'd save gas that way I'm too. I'll come a little closer and show you guys this. As you guys see, there's a bunch of rubber in here. We will actually pull this oh, you off. You can't see. It's a little blurry, dude. And open this completely up, right? So you're going to unscrew this completely. Just so you can get it open far enough. Now, if you were on a motorcycle or a bicycle, you may not have to do all this, but you may still have to pull it off like that. So you're going to then grab out enough of the rubber to make it mountable around this piece right so now that we're there we reverse the process by screwing this back on just like this guys screw it back on just keep screwing it until it's nice and tight and clamped on now i will tell you guys don't over tighten this uh if you're doing it on a camera tripod you could squeeze the pipe a little too much camera tripods are a little lot too thick so just remember that don't, don't do what I did. Uh, if it's a handlebar, it's going to be plenty thick enough. Don't worry about it. It's not going to bend it. And the cool part is with the round rubber in there, you're not going to mar scratch your handlebar paint if you have handlebar paint. Or even if you have chrome bars, you ain't going to scratch that either. And right there, I over-tightened it. And we're about there. Uh, we're going to back off a half turn or so. And then... Two and a half kind turns. Latch it in place, right? <laughs> Back off just slightly more. Then we went down to three a turns. Bigger like than I said, we had so over tight. then have this mount piece. There is a dent. I can't which you will unscrew this, right? Just like this. Pop this over this. And then push this right on that ball head. Then re screw it back on. So pretty simple, pretty easy, guys. If you need one of these Lamy Call bike mounts, you actually have that option, and they work well. Any questions? If not, we're going to be moving over to the Queen mattress set. And I am... I can't remember who did this. Was it her? Hey, buy things. This is the uh, Chris Dilly. Today we one. have the Crystal 10-inch memory foam mattress. I went ahead and opened this up yesterday, no, two days ago, to give it a chance to fully the puff up. The says, my bad. And I've had a couple of nights on it, which is amazing. All right, so I'll get up, sir. Thank you. So, a couple cool. things is, it has several different layers. This top layer is a very stretchy fabric to help minimize motion transfer between the two people, no, whoever's sleeping on it. Underneath that, we have, let me, there's going to be a... Actually, it looks quite thick. Comfort memory foam layer below this. Below that is a Very crazy chopper. memory foam layer that helps. It's it's corrugated. It's wavy. It helps increase temperature or not increase, but <laughs> increase airflow. So this does not get very hot. He's like, sir, I below don't that, care if you're up there. I'm gonna chew level. my bone. Below that, we're gonna have oh, a forty dollar clip with a coupon, layer. guys. If you need one. And then there's gonna be a layer of springs, which you can see right here. Uh, while it's playing on gravity. Between sandwich between those two high density layer of memory foam. Each spring is individually wrapped to minimize motion transfer and decrease the squeakiness from the mattress. <laughs> the squeakiness from the dog, you mean? Surprisingly, very comfortable. 
I heard a cat in the background. So, guys, nice little mattress if you guys need one. There's your option. All right, the leg elevation pillow, guys. What can we say about it? Uh, let's say you guys have a bad back or you've had surgery and you need to keep your legs above heart level or you just like to have your legs in an elevated position. This is actually a really great option. We're going to show you guys this, but, you know, this product uh, literally comes vacuum sealed and you have to let it air out. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product. This is from Abco Tech, guys. James here. Abco Sports. There's a lot of James products today. Pillow. Now, this is a memory foam style elevating pillow for your bed or just to lay around, uh, guys, to elevate your feet up to help adjust with improve knee help and hip knee pain you know hip pain uh, helps blood circulation let's say if you guys need to keep your legs elevated after maybe surgery or something this will do that now this is made from a memory foam high poly or uh, poly premium poly F1 oh, foam mm -hmm. with a breathable oh, yeah, cover three? now the breathable cover is yeah, try saying that word so you three times fast wash the cover guys now I they can't. say this is approximately like uh, 12 <laughs> inches wide by I think well, I can tell you right here. 24 inches by 21 inches by yeah. 8 Let's inches. We'll read the Put stuff. Right on the box. Why do I have to guess? When I can now, guys, there is two different versions. So, there's this one, and then there's a cool gel version. I know it's a just little hard to let you guys know. Just move back a little. Grab a knife. Now, be careful, guys. Of course, don't want to cut it, the product itself. So, we just want to open it. Now, I'm sure this is going to be probably vacuum sealed. So, once we open it, it's going to pop open and extend out wider and bigger than the box so it and it is though. vacuum sealed it's actually vacuum sealed in a round shape so right, the box down. this is exactly. where you guys got to be careful guys so you don't waste. actually sure enter those product, but let's you don't enter you can't win tape and kind we of don't want you not to be a winner if i can i don't want this to actually pop me in the face while holding a knife got a pop for guys in this little video and we're going to show you guys this right about here let's see this now, you guys see it's squished because it's like shape, just literally it's came out. Sealed. But it's a wedge style, guys. Then you lay it on the bed just like that. I'm going to tell you guys, if you let this sit for at least 24 hours to maybe 36 hours, this thing actually triples in size. It actually gets quite, quite big, and it has a nice gradual lean to it. I should have really let it go there for the video, but I didn't. I kind of rushed it a little. But... Product works well, and, and my wife uses it. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to pull it out. It's in the bedroom, but it's a really great product, and you guys will see this. It does have a cover that can come off. It is washable, so it is actually a very nice product. You have product. legs that will gradually allow your feet to come up. Now, the cool part is this is a washable cover. So you grab the washable cover right here, right? Washable. Unzip it. Just like, like my this, mouth was so. Down, pull the foam out, and... You guys can literally wash the cover. Now, you guys see nice poly memory foam style, polyethylene memory foam. Very simple, very easy, guys. Great for your legs. I know my wife has actually been needing one of these to help with yep. her feet. So, cool little product, guys, from Abco uh, Sports. And I want to thank Abco for sending that because my wife actually really loves that product. Now, we're going to kind of pop over. We're going to kind of... Do this little, uh, I have a little spiel here, guys, right? So we actually have a product I have in hand. This product is actually used every, almost, you know, kind of every day or every other day at least. This is a 12-inch wok pan. Now, I use this not for just walking. I use this for rice dishes like Mexican rice and stuff. This thing is a nice, nice pan. I've literally have tried cooking omelets in this, and they, I could do an omelet in it, really, I could. Um, cheesy rices, nothing sticks to this. This thing actually just, like, stuff just slips off like it's crazy. Um, you know, it's got a stone-derived coating on this, guys. It is a 12-inch uh, pan. It does have a nice lip, a good handle that actually is quite used quite well. Now, you'll actually see that it's actually really used because you'll see all of the usage mark on the bottom. Nice aluminum style base, guys. This thing is really, really nice. Um, it will work on gas, induction, ceramic, and electric stoves, so don't worry about that. You can use it on all the stoves that you really want. Now, you do have a several layer um, uh, 
layer design, guys. You have the uh, scratch resistant layer, then you have the aluminum body layer, then you have the sandblasted layer, then you have the stone derived layer. So you have multiple layers built into this, which is really, really great. Now, Koch Systems made this pan, and it's actually a really, really phenomenal pan, guys. I literally, I'm using this so much, it's crazy. And it does have a lid if you guys need the lid, which is also great. Now, this is made from German style, uh, German style design uh, with the German style uh, design stone uh, ink inlay here, guys, which is cool. I was a little uh, iffy about the stone things because I've never used one of these with this uh, type of in encoding inside. And I must say it works quite well. Now, the one thing I have not done is I have not put it in an oven and I will not put it in an oven. It's just the way I am. Not put it in an oven. You know, you might be able to put it in the oven if you really want, but, you know, why risk it? If you guys need a 12-inch nonstick wok or fry pan, this is really a great option. And it does have a 15% clippable coupon today, which just brings it down. I mean, it's a decently priced pan. They do have other versions. They have a flat frying pan. They have the wok. They have a couple others. But it's a really nice pan, guys. I really love that pan. It gets used more than my big 14-inch fry pan. Just saying. It really does get used more. Any questions, guys? Oh, we're going to be moving over to the Woody and Lux table. Now, I did a couple of these. A couple styles. Um, I want to admit, this table ended up at my bedside. Rachel. <laughs> My, hopefully my wife's watching and eh, she will catch on to that so let's pull over and let's go to here let's grab this little video James here, here. quick uh, assembly job of a new product this is from Woody and Lux this is their narrow side table or nightstand guys this is approximately does come in two different colorations by guys wide by 24 inches high it is a double shelf system now I'm gonna put this together real quick like for you guys even though I've seen a little slight hiccup with this, but not a problem. So we're going to put it together for you on camera. We're going to start with these pieces. Now we are going to grab one of these pieces and one we sec, are going guys. to screw all these legs in here. So I'm going to show you guys this. My phone started ringing. I was trying to shut Just it off. Second. Pop some stuff off real quick. Hey, Bobber Man. Grab one of these. We have this just like this. You're going to grab all these four bars. Really, all it's simple to put together, guys. Anybody can do this. Right. It's really quick, really easy. But it says B screws, so we're going to go in here and grab the bag of B screws. They're laid. We're going to tear all these apart. And I cut the carpet doing this, guys. Just to let so you know, I really did cut the three, carpet. Ended up throwing that carpet out. Which one this is labeled? This is a the three. The throw rug. So I take it they're My both wife and her throw rugs. So that should be not a hiccup. Whole bunch of screws, right? Yep. We got the B screws. We got the legs. The legs are gonna go in here. We're gonna go to a corner to corner, right? And then we're gonna make sure that we line them up properly and screw them in. Just slide the screw through. Kind of like this, guys. Just slide it through. Feed it through. Kind of just screw it on. You guys can manually screw it like this. Just twist it to a point till you can't go no farther. Then you grab the included screwdriver and just and make screw sure the away. screw holes are now pointed up, guys, sure when because you, do you this, have guys, to put that board on. That you put it together and leave the holes up and down on these bars. Because if you do not do that, you will not be able to uh, connect up your tops to these which would be an issue. Another yeah. screw, slide it in, make sure it goes through. Would you guys like to know what this has become? My wife has taken this over and it's now become a baby Yoda holder. It holds her baby Yoda toy, stuffed animals. Not even kidding. <laughs> Just like that, right? Another four. Screw it on. Just 
pretty cool. Then you get to the point where we need the screwdriver. Oh, yeah. Right next to my bed. And just tighten it in. Make sure it's nice and snug. Grab another one. And come down here to the bottom side. Same as the other. Well, this guy's boring me. Let's just jump to the good part. Is there a good part? All right. I did not realize it did not fast forward half of this. Uh, next time, six times zoom. Voice over. 30 minute install video. Yours truly. Now it may take a couple times guys to line the screws up. Just remember, be patient. Now I will tell you guys, these last screws in the boards will take you a little bit to line up. Um, it's just one of them things. If it's the the bars are not perfectly set or something, it takes a little bit to line up to get that screw in. I ended up, you know, just forcing it like this. I'm going to show you guys. This is literally right there. That is your final thing. And it actually is a nice little table. Uh, it works well for what it is. Uh, one of them has actually become, you know, the, the stuffed animal holder. And the other one has become a shoe rack. So... Really great product, decently priced, guys, for like $46. And they actually a nice look. They do have two colorations. So if you don't like this a little darker uh, teak style, they do have a lighter teak coloration. And we're going to be moving over to the Amazon Basics High def Density Round Foam. Uh, hello. I sure who did this. It was not me. So this is my Amazon oh, Basics Foam Roller. And um, this is just going to be really good for helping you roll out your muscles, um, especially after like a nice workout um, when they're all tense and stuff. I'm going to sit on the ground and use this one on on my uh, my nice little leg. Um, I I do a lot of leg workouts. I keep my oh look, chicken and legs. Stuff. And so uh, just having this Puff little off. foam roller is kind of awesome. I got Obi here with me. He's going to be <laughs> all up in my face. But really, these things are good. Um, you know, you can put your leg on it and just basically kind of use it to roll back and forth on your leg. Um, Nikita, where you at? Cool Making fun of your chicken legs, the buddy. Foam roller is the fact that uh, using it and rolling it back and forth on your leg helps you break down the lactic acid that builds up in your muscles um, and really is what causes your muscles. Now, guys, this stuff. does come in and four colorations if down, you don't like it. Um, so and it can, comes in 12-inch, um, 18-inch, you know, 24-inch, and 36-inch. So you do have but those I mean, options. Right now, and it feels amazing. I actually really like it. Um, and I, I love how this one is a lot uh, thicker than some of the other ones that I've had. I've had some ones um, that are uh, probably, I want to say like two thirds to half the diameter of this one. But this is the Amazon Basics foam roller and it's very easy, simple to use, super budget friendly and good to work out those nice calf muscles or whatever muscles you uh, may need to, uh, you know, help. So if you guys are looking for something, you have your Amazon Basics, you have that option. Now, we're going to be moving over to something I thought was really cool. This is a blood pressure watch with an uh, uh, inflator pillow built in, guys. This actually will take your blood pressure right from your wrist, which is kind of cool to have this uh, on-the-go thing. Um, you know, it's just one of the things that actually I thought was really cool. This is from YH. E, this is their portable BP watch. James here with a quick unboxing and showcase. Now, this is a little spendier, guys. This is $400 for this thing. This is a blood pressure thing. smart watch, guys. This will do actual blood pressure uh, readings within 30 seconds. You'll have to hold your hand at heart level like this. Now, guys, this does do more than blood pressure. It will actually track your heart rate. It does have an alarm. does track your sleep schedule. It does have a weather uh, app. It does do... Um, that's uh, so like calorie burns, workout burns. And it also does your um, blood oxygen. So your SPO2, I think it's called. So you do have those options in there too. It is not just a normal little blood cuff watch. Or like this to read. Hey, buddy. How you this doing, man? It's also a smartwatch. So it does everything else. Time, date, takes track of your, your phone calls. It does do that. All that right. good stuff. And it does have an app that link to your phone. Blood oxygen level, your heart rate. It has an app, guys. You'll have to insta install the blood pressure or blood doctor. Oh, it's time for a haircut. The gray shown. Um, it'll 
monitor that. It'll monitor your sleep rate and all that other oh. good stuff. Now, it has yes, a sleeping bladder better. around the band, so you'll have to make sure it's nice and tight to do the blood ox or the blood pressure readings. It does take it within. Hey, sis, seconds, tell your little brother to quit texting me. Now, the app. The Trying blood, to work here. Uh, blood pressure watch also has an app. The app will read your blood pressure, your oxygen level, your uh, heart rate, your workout. Uh, you'll keep track of all your workout, how many paces you step, how hard your heart worked, and all that good stuff. Also has an alarm, calorie burner, a uh, sleep hey, um, app that'll keep track of your sleep. And Let's pop forward, guys. To actually show These you what's in the box. Pretty cool because this will actually tell you everything you need to know, like how to connect. Hey, sitting here text me about my Lincoln. Like it says Bluetooth. Uh, style hey, buddy. Yeah, I, I like saw you on the other chat. How you it doing, man? Tells you testing modes. Like it'll tell you how to test your blood pressure, heavy use testing mode, moderate testing modes, and everything with the battery life. Which is very cool. What comes in the kit, which we'll show you guys all that. I'm just second. ignoring it. My yeah, phone's sitting down here just vibrating away. How it charges, how to test it, and then your app. And it has a QR code, but it's for the BP doctor, which is blood pressure doctor. That is the app you'll need. Then once in the app. Yeah, come on, let's show the watch, man. There you go. The little gold pens. I will show oh, you let's back up. in a second. So you guys yeah, will actually good. need to see this. You'll have to get the little charging base, plug it in. Find a wall yes. charger or your computer to plug it in. Then it connects with the little gold pins. I will show you more of that in a second. So next is I don't, the watch. I don't right? agree with those type of chargers. Let's see if we can get the watch out. And I accidentally just turned it on. So the watch is a nice looking watch, right? Very nice. Very cool. It's actually an oval, not just a round base. Rubber band of a wristband with metal. Now we're going to pop this open and show you guys this. This is the bladder. If you guys can see this, that bladder is what uh, will do the pressure and read your uh, blood pressure. Down here is your sensors and the gold pins to charge this. So to charge this, guys, you have to have the base. Unfortunately, it's not wireless charging or USB-C. So it takes the base. You have to set this on the base. I realized I did this while I was sick. To the base and then clip it in. It's in. That's how you charge it. There's your base. Very easy, very simple, nice little watch. So turn it on. So when you turn it on, it'll tell you BP doctor, right? Then underneath my finger, we'll show you the serial number. So pretty simple to hook up, guys, and using it's actually quite easy. And it's actually a nice little tool to have around you. Let's say you guys are, you know, trying to just start getting to work out and stuff, and you haven't done it in a while. It's always good to watch your blood pressure, watch your heart rate and stuff. This actually keeps track of that. We'll actually keep a nice graph for you on the app. A really cool product. Uh, you know, it's just one of the things you might be interested in. So, guys, remember, we do have several giveaways going on. We do have Mrs. Dragon Blogger. She is actually giving away one of her diamond, personal diamond pendants this uh, Sunday. So, make sure to enter that, guys. We are also doing a uh, security doorbell, guys, from Yuffie. That ends the second. Then we have a 3D printer, which ends, I believe, the ninth. That will post those again. Ah, uh, no, I do not play CSGO. <laughs> I do not. I do not. Now we're gonna be moving over to some Vaunt products, guys. Vaunt makes some really cool products. The first one here is actually a reading light for your neck, and I, you know, this is one of the things that you know catches you off guard when you're asked to do it, but. Actually, it's really cool. I'll show you guys this. Where is the font? James here, and today we're taking a quick look at the James font here. LED neck reading light, guys. This has three colors, three brightness levels. So you have cool white, neutral white, or warm, which is like an orangish hue, guys. So you have the three color temperatures, then you have the three brightnesses, low, medium, and high. And the cool thing is it's got a thousand milliamp battery, so you last up to about 80 hours of use which is just amazing you can get 80 hours i was of use just looking for that sis thank you five percent clip will keep on for this now guys. this does take a usb -C. actually a great price up and give you guys a first look at this first thing to come out is actually usb c to usb yes usb c cable, guys which is cool they give you that or company you have just moved the to device C. itself and you guys see it's tired of having 12 chargers up, right it bends on flexes that's kind of cool and right off the back, I noticed that it actually has like a velvet uh, padding for your neck. 
right next to the charging port. Then you have what looks like is a button right there, guys. And we'll kind of figure that out as we go. But then you have the lights, man. It, it bends in any direction that you need to go. And on both each sides. one is controlled and separately, like guys. This has a button right here and this. So we're going to figure this out. Let's put it on our neck. Let's look like a fool. Half these. Oh, so there, there it is. is. So we have one coloration. Now we'll turn it up brighter. Each, oh, you can dim both in brightness of each one separately. That's cool. So there we are on bright on the lighting of what looks like to be the orange hue. Let's hit the button again. <laughs> There's our white hue, and that's bright. Now we can dim this off. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. And we'll hit it again. Another hue of coloration. Same thing, guys. So, and you can point it to wherever you want. Let's say maybe you're working on something and you need the extra light, or you're reading that book and you just want to get the page, you know, just right because you don't have a lot. So the cool part is, guys, this does have like an 80-hour battery life on a full charge. It does have a thousand milliamp battery that charges up by USB-C, and it has three colorations of lighting hues and three intensities on each one. Plus, you can separately control each side. So let's say you only want one light lit up, you can use just one light. And that's actually a really cool uh, thing to have that option. Now, they, they, they label this as a reading light. I can actually see people like, let's say you're working on like an electronic motherboard or you're soldering on an electronic device. This would actually be cool to have the extra little light around your neck pointing at that object or maybe you're working on a car and you don't want to have your child sitting there holding a flashlight all day. This will give you enough light to see what you need to see. It's actually a really cool product. I was quite shocked with this product. Oh, we're going to go over to the Vaunt RGB table lamp. And I will admit right off the bat, in this video, you're going to see me stumbling around trying to get the coloration to go. And the problem with that coloration is, guys, it's because... It's a touch sensitive lamp and I wasn't paying attention to that when I was doing this video. I was literally holding the lamp and trying to change the coloration while holding it. So go ahead and laugh at me as I fumble around trying to change the coloration with this video. But Vaunt LRGB LED light guys. This is actually a really nice table lamp if you want something like this. Now, it is like $20 today. It is actually a really great deal. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at the doing that. I'm going to grab RGB the next product. Lamp, guys. This is a full customized with 60 million colors, guys, but we'll, we'll point that out in a second. Now, it's touch sensitive, guys. You have to plug it in. It is a desk little lamp, which is kind of cool. Now, we're going to pop this open and give you guys your first look at this. But just remember, guys, it is a 600 luminous, so it's not going to be too bright, but it should be bright enough. Now we'll pop this open, give you guys your first look. Just left the it. first thing I'm greeted with is actually the hanging off power brick, which is kind of cool. We'll pull that out in a second. Let's go a little farther. Throw the wrapping and packaging aside. That's up. Make sure we get all this out Good. here. Now there is no con uh, instruction yeah, manual. Doing, man? If you need the instruction manual, you actually have to download it. It really so could work are, good for that too. With, yeah, like, is the lamp. Which and is it's cool, decently guys. priced. They have their little Vaunt logo, but on the side it's is a really USB nice price. plug, which is kind We're of going to be showcasing um, some cool products. You have and the power brick right to USB C, which is cool. Now let's plug this in. I actually have an extension I still cord here. Let's see, if I'm going to be honest off. with you guys. I don't understand the USB C and then to a power brick. Why not just use like the USB C to USB plug in and have multiple plugs that way? It's just one of them things. I get it. They're trying to cut down on having the power bricks, but it's USB-C. Just let me have like a 20 plug USB plug in. I mean, I do oh, have so one the 16 million or six, 16 million colors, guys. Okay. Let's talk about the 16 million colors. It's a touch sensitive lap or lamp, so there is no actual. There is no app to control the coloration, so you actually have to. Hold the button down, find the coloration you want, and tap it to stop it where you We're want showcasing it. So it's finding fine. that it's right coloration now. is going to be on to you. Now this whole thing is I got some cool products coming up, guys. You know, D H D. Good morning, man. They said. Ask cool products. I love. If I can. Yeah, this is where you guys are going to notice me fumbling around, right? 
There it is. There we go. So it's so touch that sensor. Is actually super. I am right, literally guys. holding now the touch area with, with one it. hand and touching it the same. That was my problem, right? You guys can see I. There. I can actually adjust the brightnesses <laughs> by touching it. So. Nate and Justin pointed this out the other night, and I didn't realize I was having these problems with this, but it is a touch-sensitive lamp. It is cool. You guys got 16 million colors. You have to find the coloration you want and then tap it and stop it, but it is a gorgeous lamp, and it actually is really cool for the kids if you guys are looking for something like that. Now, we're going to be moving over some really cool products that I actually want to showcase to you guys. I actually have live showcasings today for you. The first one is something my wife actually took away from me and wanted to keep. This is a hummingbird, guys, uh, light or solar wind chime. Uh, you know, one of them products that do RTX 30. What? Well, you did the RTX 3070 the other day, buddy. <laughs> um, I don't have the RTX 3070 on the stream today. Now, the Hummingbird, guys. This Hummingbird is actually a really cool product. This Hummingbird is actually from, I believe, uh, Sheng Tai Feng. I, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. Now, they do have a cardinal and they have a heart-shaped one. The Hummingbird is fully solar, has the things fully lined up, guys. These actually change colors and patterns. Has a nice little diamond pattern to come down at the bottom and makes a nice chime. This thing is really, really nice. Now, my wife is actually taking control of this and kept it in the house. So, I actually taped up the chimes because I don't want to hear them since I work from home. And, guys, you guys, off full charge, they will actually stay lit up all night. And they are super bright. Now, I'll actually switch over and just kind of show you guys a video because it's not like I can show you guys this lit up right here. So let's pop over. Let's grab this. Let's grab, um, where's that? The Solar Hummingbird. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product, yeah, guys. This is a Hummingbird a wind chime. As you guys see, I have a hanging quick look, in my two minutes. house. That's the only Short video, I guys. Now, if you guys, I'm going to give you guys a little bit more light. See, hopefully you guys can see this lit up. You know, a little better. We'll give you guys some lights, right? So as you guys see, you have the six different Hummingbirds at different levels. Then you have the inner chime, or the inner uh, chime that goes with the wind chimes right here. I still have the wind chimes hung up because I'm in an apartment complex and I don't want to annoy the neighbors right now. But Man, that's not very works. cool that each one of these lights up. I did not want to annoy power, myself. Guys. So up here is the solar panel. I will take this down so you guys can see the top right here. Now, you will need to set this in the sun for eight hours before it will actually work. Then underneath there is actually a switch right here that you slide over to the on position. Once you're on that on position, it will auto automatically yep. detect when the lights go out. So when the proper darkness is to light up. Now this is the cool part. Let's start shutting some lights off, right? Just, oops, I hit the wrong switch. The lights are And off. that's how bright they get, guys. They do the get birds. super blue, bright. Green, blue. Uh, Again, cameras uh, don't do justice blue, of colors like this a lot. Blue, and then a but blue, and they look like they're changing colors. So now they we do have change green, patterns. A teal, yellows, and reds. Now, if you guys look at the heads, the actual heads are actually bright red. Now I'm going to turn the light back on. You guys can see the head up close, nicely designed. This is waterproof, guys. Don't worry about it. Take it outside, plug it in. Wind chime. If you guys are into wind chimes, uh, like my wife is, this is actually a really good option. Now, she keeps begging me for the cardinal one, and I'm like, we live in an apartment, though. And thanks. I have to, yeah, they really are nice. I, I will admit, they're nice looking. Uh, we do keep them hanging by our window. Uh, it's where she wants it, so we kept it. Um, I did tape up the chimes, though. Re really are a really cool product. Now, let's talk about the next product in the list. Now, this is... $80 little toy or statue, minuet, whatever you want to call it. This is from WizKids. This is their D&D adult blue dragon. Now, I have this bad boy. I love this dragon, guys. This thing has become a permanent fixture. And actually, what is that? All right, so we have a house spider in the house. 
We have a spider in the house that made a, a web on my, my dragon. I did not realize that. So, <laughs> I, I will find the spider later and we will deal with him later. Uh, guys, just a gorgeous, gorgeous dragon. The detail is just, it's really, really nice. The wings, guys, if you look at the wings, the face, the colorations, you know, a nice little plastic uh, pedestal to set it on. This thing is beautiful. And thanks, man. Yes, this is from the new merch. The new merch shirt. If I, if I move back, you might be able to see it better. Guys, WizKids makes some really great dragons and D&D uh, &D products, guys. If you're into D&D &D or dragons, this is really a nice little option. Hey, I see the little spider now. I guess I annoyed him up there. <laughs> uh, only if I was scared of him. I don't know, guys. Uh, you tell me. The detail, guys. Look at even the, the horns in the back. The colorations of the multicolors. The the purplish, the blues, it's just beautiful. Even the little horns up here, the hook horns, the wings. Now, guys, they do have a little give, so don't worry about it. You're not going to break it. They are permanently put on the base. This thing is beautiful. I highly recommend them. Now, I'm actually looking at getting the gold dragon also. They have a gold dragon I was looking at getting, but this is just really cool. Love this thing. It has become above my shelf thing. It stays there. It matches my shirt. It kind of matches my shirt. Uh, go, got to get that that one. Yeah, they do. There is a purple option. There is a purple shirt option on the merch store. Most definitely. Oh, and now we're going to be moving over to a dragon toy. And this dragon toy is for the dogs. This is actually a dragon egg dog chew toy. This thing, I believe, Justin's uh, had. So we'll kind of show you guys this. Grab this little video. And then we're going to show you guys something really cool. I'm in here because I got this really cool dragon egg dog toy. This is a chew it's toy. It's like a conch, and dragon conch. Look at that. The blue dragon on one side and the white dragon That's on the cool. side. And it's just a really, really elaborate looking dragon egg. It's got little grooves, as you can see in here. These are for you to like smear like peanut butter or a little doggy toothpaste. That way they can kind of like- Doggy work their toothpaste? Teeth and get toothpaste on their teeth. It's meant to clean their teeth, but you could use it for treats too. You could stuff a treat inside of it or a, a little rattle toy in there if you make noise. But- Yeah, I wouldn't put the rattle see toy in like there. You can see they're begging me to give it to them. He wants it, ready? All right, let's go to, to Dragon Egg. Catch a Dragon Egg. Catch a Dragon Egg. <laughs> Kiwi wants it, but Pumpkin grabbed it. I like it. Like, see you later, dragon. Kiwi. Bring the dragon egg. Bring the dragon egg. <laughs> he jumps and dad. You got it? You got the dragon egg? Oh, he likes <laughs> it. Popos. Yeah. Is that nice and rubbery? I give him two and a half. It's like $14. It's not a bad price. Bring it back. Bring it back. They do yeah, have a gold safe, version, safe. too, guys. So if you want an orange version... And they do have an orange version. Gluten. All right, let's try that again. Yes, you got it. Go get it. Yep, it's a win. They like it. I did not know gluey popped up in this one. It's just the right rubbery consistency. You got it? Gotta love the dogs. You hear him chewing on it? Good job. Some of those videos you just let play out. Uh, Punk is like, I ain't sharing, buddy. I'm not sharing. <laughs> Guys, if your dog needs a nice chew toy, we have your dragon option for you. Now we're going to be 
moving over to an actual really, really awesome product, guys. This is from Positive Motion. This is their uh, their lava dragon eggs, guys. These things are uh, resin dragon eggs. Now, you're going to notice something different compared to what we're showing you guys is I actually put these on a base. Now, you have three dragons, guys, in the setup, which is really cool. You have the, uh, you know, it's a plastic style crystal-ish. It's a resin, guys. It's literally a resin, right? Um, just awesome, phenomenal product. And I'm going to pop over to the scene, and we're going to show you guys this. But you guys are going to see what I did different. So I ended up getting bases for these, but the bases weren't the best bases. So I actually kind of glued these to this. So you guys are going to see that I actually glued them to this. And they actually are really, really nice. I love it. They light up, guys. These little dragon eggs are phenomenal little products. I noticed some. Hey, I think the glue I used might have cracked this one. <laughs> but you have the blue dragon, guys. The detail is just phenomenal and looks very, very awesome. Now, I did use a high, high uh, adhesive glue, so I may have just, you know, messed with that one. But we're going to pop over and show you guys the green dragon, of course, guys. Look at this. Just beautiful dragon eggs, guys. The eggs do not come with the stands. You have to get the stamps separate. The stands are really cool. They do light up and make these just glow and pop in the dark. I love these dragons, guys. They're just gorgeous. And the detail is just phenomenal. You guys will really see the detail in this one. The coloration and the detail just pops with this, right? Look at the, the way the shelling's done, the, the armor, the plating, the wings. Even the neck has lines inside it. Then they, you know, resin covered it. I love these eggs. Good morning, Margaret. Guys, and for like $40 for these three eggs, it's a no-brainer. If you guys are into dragons, guys, these are just gorgeous. And now I can't lose them. I glued them on. Probably shouldn't have, but I did. If you guys have any questions about the last couple products, please ask. Yeah, I love these eggs. I, I think I need to talk to Justin about maybe doing a giveaway for a set of these. I don't know. I think these are just very, very cool and would make a great giveaway. You know, hey. They do, there are other options, guys, besides these three, the blue dragon, the green dragon, and the black dragon, or the black and orange. So you have a dragon. Uh, the dragon nightlight. I am not sure which one that is in our storefront. That would actually be a Justin thing. Um, good question if there is an option. Uh, is it a Dragon Nightlight that I did? I'm not sure. I did do a couple of them. I mean, I do have some uh, Dragon Desk Lamps and stuff, so. A purple one. Um, They do have a purple, guys. There is a purple dragon out there. Uh, I, I plan on getting a couple others at some point. And the stands, guys, you can actually take these stands apart. They're just watch batteries. So if you guys need the watch batteries, just pop out play some and they're good to go hey yeah um that would be something justin would actually have to answer um i don't have the storefront open right now let me uh, see if i can go look real quick i cannot <laughs> yeah it's not popping up for me I would try to answer that for you. If you are on our Discord or if you are on uh, the contact list, write Justin. Justin can. Uh, Justin will be able to answer that quicker than me. Uh, he does answer very quickly on Discord most days. But since I'm on live stream, I can't see the actual category that quick. All right, we're going to be moving over to a white noise machine. Uh, do you guys need a white noise machine to drown out people talking like me? 
you might this might be your option um if you guys are sleepers and you need background noise this will give you that option also we will pop over we're going to grab this little white noise machine uh, let's see uh, where's it at this is my big red rooster today we're taking a quick look at a new white noise machine guys this not is noticed, big red, rooster, big red guys rooster. This is their six sound white noise machine. Six now sounds. this does do six. volume up and down, does have timers guys, and six sounds of course. You have white noise, ocean, rain, summer night, thunder, and brook. But let's pop it open and give you guys your first look at what comes in this and then we'll show you guys how it sounds. I think my wife left the AC on in so the, the other bedroom guys. I'm gonna set the like really, really how quick. to use it pretty much self-explanatory guys. Then you have your stand, your, why wow, it's not a scattered wall brick. It's actually USB to the, the standard style DC5, but USB. I like that. Don't need a cord, but they do give you the wall brick if you need the wall brick, guys. Then you have the sound machine itself, and I actually kind of like this. It's this nice, small little device, and it looks okay. like it does. Fixed. Oh, or this has six dollar of... clippable coupon, double guys. A's actually, these double price. A's, guys. So you can actually use this off double A's. <laughs> That's cool. She that they did add leave that, the so other AC on. Portable, super light. Heard it kicking on and off here. And then up here, guys, you have all your buttons. You have your rain, brook, <laughs> can't thunder, have summer that night, for ocean, it. and white noise power timer, 15, 30, or sixty minute volume oh, up and down. Mystery box. Well, well, what you does it sound like? Well, I hear let's that. Get on and give you guys your first. I sound got mystery box test right on this device and my first. So I'm gonna plug that in, and I actually have. An extension cord over here, so we're gonna plug it into the extension cord for right uh, now. We're gonna move away Since from that I extension it cord near me soon. To do this, I'm actually moving Let's a power plug over here. Instantly. Okay, that was quite loud in my ear. I will tell you. I apologize down. for blasting your eardrums right works. there. Volume works easy, guys. I did not expect that. Let's do the rain. There's just rain, and we'll go turn that up. The brook, thunder, white noise, white noise, oh, white noise through through the ocean. Waves crashing on the ocean, that's pretty cool. Summer night, just outside sounds. Guys, simple, easy. Let's turn that down. Let's hit the timer. Guys, it is it really, it's just a simple little white noise machine. So if you guys want a little background noise, maybe a little, uh, rain tap it on the roof, this gives you that option. It actually works quite well. Oh, we are going to move on to a product that I actually did. Uh, this is from Geek Chef. Guys, this is our 7-in-1. This thing is phenomenal. You literally can bake a cake in this. You can roast off your vegetables. You can roast a chicken. You could cook a pizza in this thing. This thing does so much. And I'm going to show you guys the video of it roasting some vegetables real quick. And all of that. Let's see if I have this right here. Now, this is a smokeless indoor Chef. grill. So you can smokeless actually cook. air fryer or smokeless grill, guys. Foods, As you guys, guys see, I'm just going through some of the buttons here and showing you how you can do it. The grill button will allow you to grill at low, medium, high, or... Uh, Max, right which is kind of cool. So it does give. You so you got the foot massager from Justin, right on. That's actually really cool. Yeah, the Quinter foot massagers are really, really nice. Three different settings. You will you can go in manual, which will let you do um whatever you want. Or uh, thanks for the follow. To preheat, it, guys, pick AR. your mode like uh, bake yeah, and set up thing. to the temperature. Then press start, and it'll go into preheat mode. And while it's in preheat mode, of course, it beat it's going to take a little bit to preheat. Ten Once it's clip done, it will guys, and let you know. It. Now I'm just going to show you guys this. We're going to flop. Now they it also do have you a ten and one goes. besides the seven. But then we're going to throw some vegetables in here, and we're going to actually roast off some vegetables which is kind of cool now I'm showing you guys the timer you can adjust the timer to wherever you want it set then you can adjust the temperature get to anywhere the from like 120 up to 450 degrees which is great option to actually have that option with that you have the power button which indicates power on and, and off well you can actually bake in this you can cook a little 8 inch pizza you can dehydrate foods now you guys will just see me clicking around with buttons, of course. That's just showing you guys indicating 
what you can do and where you can do it. Then the start and stop once you indicate what temperature you want, what timer you So that is the thing with this one, guys. Always make sure this one's actually preheated or you're not going to be able to cook the food properly. And it actually does the, do a preheat countdown, which is really great. Now we're going to jump forward. And I'm going to kind of show you guys this once we get up here. Look at that. So we're literally waiting for it. And then we're going to grab some vegetables right here. I'm going to throw the vegetables in. I literally now have a chopped up vegetables. Are in. I do have it uh, open. I am very stressed right now. It can actually hold quite I a bit of, some of those bit dragon of vegetables. Balls. Now, I probably hey, could have been a good use for these. Vegetables will roast down. But I also did not want it to touch the element. Now you guys see I'm setting it up for a timer and the indication of the temperature I want. I'm going to do a 20 minute roast right here and then when I'm going to press start and we're going to get going as you guys see the timer is going it is starting and here we go now we're going to jump over to where actually the vegetables are done and you can actually see the vegetables actually cook down pull them all quite the way out well now I did not want a really dark dark roast but that is how it works now again guys this is the geek chef if you guys wanted it roasted down even more man you could have roasted those vegetables down to a nice crisp I just wanted a nice tender vegetable for the dinner we were having. Uh, you guys should have seen the T-bones I made with this. Just saying. Those T-bones were phenomenal. Uh, nice little thing, guys. It, it, it literally, like I said, it comes with all the utensils. It is a smokeless, so you can actually literally grill a steak in this and not worry about the smoke you setting off your fire alarms in an apartment. Really cool product. Highly recommend it. And as my sister said, there is a $10 clip of a coupon. Now, the next product, guys. This is from Eufy, guys. This is the deal of the day right now, it says. And it is like $3.99. These are the X80 and the G30 vac or vacuums, guys. These things are a beast of vacuums. So we're going to show you guys this comparison. The first is the, the X8 and the G30, G30 guys. Robovac. So, I had put both of these vacs do some testing and tortured my dog and had to lock him out of the house while I was doing some testing. And, you know, I had oh, videos locked of my his dog, dog out. with him and not my dog bothering the vacuum. So the G30 is really good for hard floors. And the G30 is decent around object navigation. I like the on-off switch on the side, although I forgot it was there a couple of times. And I was looking for it on top. You've got your return port, your navigation. Both use the, the Eufy app. Eufy Home app to navigate and map your home and stuff like that. This one does well on hard floors. This one does not do as well on carpets. So if you have carpeting, it, it'll go on carpets, but the spinning little bristles will just kind of like slightly disturb the surface dust on the carpet, and it doesn't have as much suction power. So if you have more so hard floors, so we got both of these in the carousel for you guys. The G30 well. is about 318. Yeah, and the Not other bad. one this is one a good. little more. This was a good option. Uh, if Thirty dollar coupon, coupon, huh? But when I was going over carpets, and I had a lot so of so there is a hundred and forty dollar clippable coupon on really the G thirty guys. As well. Well, if I you want the G thirty, it's a hundred and forty dollars so off the with clippable UV coupon. X eight RoboVac. If you want the X eight, it's a little more because it has dual two thousand three hundred ninety nine. With this has twin turbine coupon, motors. brings it down to this picks up a lot of suction. Oh, I would say almost as much as a full and also two colors stick vacuum. That's how much suction this has. Again, these yep. little spinners are showing you both are fine for hard. He had them backwards in the list. They just kind just of video. disturb that that surface level of dust. But this one will actually leave like a trail, showing that the carpet's been vacuumed, and it actually pulls and sucks on the carpet a lot better. So regarding pet hair, this one is far superior than the G30. But more important than that. This is a common issue, right? People want robo vacuums because they don't want to have to clean before the robo vacuum cleans, right? So with the G30, it's yeah. not as good at navigating around. Maybe, That's kind of like you cleaning know, your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. All across the floor. In my case, dog toys everywhere. You know, dog it. stuffies, things like that. Things, and you don't want to have to clean your house just so your robo vacuum clean your house. This one has vastly superior object avoidance and detection, and it's. It just is able to navigate around more. I took a small step ladder, set it up in a room. I put a ton of obstacles in this thing's way, and it was able to navigate around the most narrow spaces of the step ladder without getting stuck, even without doing bumping. Most RoboVac will have to bump into something to detect and hit something, and then move around it and keep circling and you do little bumps, little bumps, and turn and tilt and move. This one doesn't really have to do that. It knows it can detect the object 
and work super close to it and navigate around it without having to constantly bump against everything to determine if it can go forward or has to move around. That's what makes this one much better and highly recommended if you want a more powerful one. Now, neither of these two models is a hybrid mop RoboVac. They're vacuums only. So that would be the only thing is if you want one that's a hybrid, but most hybrids, you have to swap out the vac mode for the water container mode. They can't do like both. There's a few that could do, you know, vacuuming and then immediately mop right over its vacuum cycle, but not as many do that. So as far as the Eufy X8 or the G30, for me, the X8 wins hands down if you have a lot there of you guys go because it does do better with dog hair. It does. Now the X8, guys, does have a $30 clipable coupon, but the G30 has a $140 clipable coupon. So the $318 uh, G30 will actually drop down 100 uh, off 140 off that. You guys, just crazy prices today for the Eufy products. If you guys don't know Eufy, Eufy is owned by Anchor. Anchor makes some phenomenal products. Oh, we're going to pounce over to some Bezos products, guys. This is the Bezos LED desk lamp. This should be a, just a nice little product. I actually did this. Great little light. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at the new product. Guys. This is from Bezos. This here. is the desktop lamp. And as we're showing that, we're going to have a dragonfly on by. Style lamp, guys. This and does have a 2200 milliamp battery, which is very great. Three color it's temperatures, easy, stateless uh, brightness, so you can just touch it, go to where you want, stop. Has a memory function, which is great. Now, the memory function will actually uh, keep it where you have it set last, which is cool to actually have that function. Let's pop it open and give you guys your first look. Now, they do claim this has a very small base, which is kind of cool. Really kind of does have a small footprint, guys. If I can get it open. If I, I was quite tabs, impressed I with this. I guess I should have cut it beforehand. But I did not. Let's pull this out. So we get a box inside of a box. Oh, and paperwork. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I was not expecting it to come apart like that. We left so that blooper in there for you guys. Box, right? You can keep that box there. Here's your cable. It is USB to USB-C, which is nice to have. Then you have your little lamp. I love, it's actually quite small. I wasn't expecting this footprint. Okay, now, here, here we go. This is a little bit different. Cool, all right. Yeah, you guys I did do this video when my mom was here. This is actually quite cool. I was not expecting this. This this is not what I was expecting whatsoever. Right down here, guys, you have your on and off switch. Let's turn it on, right? So I will talk about that, guys. That little switch on the bottom is actually an auto dimmer switch, which actually auto detects how bright your house is. So if your house is really bright or you have extra lights on, it will auto dim that light so it's not using as much lighting power to light up the area you need. Really cool little option to have on that. I was quite surprised to have it. Actually charge. It was not charged, guys. It I did have to charge it. it. Not a big deal. Be right back. All right, we now have it plugged in. We're gonna guys show you guys this. We're gonna turn it on. There you guys go. If I hold it down, we can dim it. If I hold it back up, it'll go back up. Now, if I tap it, a lot of the steepless touch, guys. We can also dim three that. color it's hues. Steeply stop where you want it. Bring it back up. Stop. Change three, coloration again. Multiple brightness this is more levels. Of a hue, orange hue. You know, dim it or bring it back it's up. Very small, guys. This is actually now, fit on the desk quite again, well. The table. Off, turn it back on, right? On the bottom, guys. This little switch on the bottom is actually to change the brightness auto dimming by itself. It has an auto dimming part. That's cool to have that option. So let's say you have your light on. It's going to dim this light if it's already. I, bright, I definitely bright. can see that's where your new art, cool, art, art, art thing is. I love it. Does that mean that he has to put by new ink pens? Look unplugged. We're good to go. <clears throat> Take it with you. Carry it along. Whatever you need. The Bay Zeus uh, uh, desk lamp is a nice. Guys, I'm telling you, this desk lamp is actually really, really cool. I actually kept this lamp. It's in my closet. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but I kept it just because of the footprint. The footprint is just so amazing that I know that it'll actually use it something. So, I see that you guys are actually into doing the diamond dots, uh, like art. Is that something you guys want seen or showcased on this at some point? <laughs> 
if it is, I will throw it out to Justin that you guys would like to see some of those products uh, showcased. Um, I we never thought about like art stuff, you know. Now we're going to be moving over to another Bezos product. This is actually a magnetic power bank, guys. What magnetic means? It is for wireless charging, like your wireless charging phones for your Apple phones, your Samsung phones, anything that can actually charge off a wireless device. Um, this power bank is a 10,000 milliamp power bank. So if you have like the Samsung S21, this is a 4,000 milliamp battery. So you can actually charge this phone more than twice off this power bank. I would love to see and have so. Oh, I did not know you already mentioned it. Well. We, I will mention it also. James here, and today we're taking a quick Shades look at the new bank. product, guys. This is from Bezos. This is their magnetic power over. bank. This is a 10,000 milliamp power bank, guys. This is good for any product that does wireless charging, but great for. She's your into doing arts and crafts. Mrs. Dragon Water so loves arts and, and crafts quite well. Now, if you have an iPhone 12 or 13 Pro, you'll get about two to two and a half charges off these guys. Correct. If you have Samsung, that's 20, a you'll get nice about one and a half charges. 20% clippable coupon, guys, and two colors uh, black or white. I get about white. two and a half charges because that's about four. Hey, that's a decent deal. deal per charge. 20% so off. There. Now, I didn't guys, even look to see if the this lamp does do one. 20 watts of charging, which is great, oh, guys. Lamp does not. Very cool, very easy. Now, like I said, does the iPhone 13s, iPhone 12s. Uh, remember, guys, if you to have a MagSafe case, if you're going to use it wirelessly. Now, you do come with the USB to USB-C cable if you guys need that. Then you have the small little power bank itself. You guys see 20 watts up here on the side. Right here is your power button. Just hit it. It should come on. Shows you 85% charge. Digital display, man. Then tells you where your power USB level is. That's cool. And your USB-C. The USB-C is your input output. And now the cool thing is, is you can actually charge from these ports, also the USB-A or the USB-C, you can actually charge devices. The USB-C is a double, uh, double way port, so you can actually charge this device with that device. And like my sister said, there is a 20% clippable coupon, which actually makes so this a great charge deal. Or charge this device or charge another device. Now we're gonna grab my Samsung S21. We're going to set it here, and you guys are going to see that it should start to charge right there. Nice. Well, we do have My screen doesn't like to stay on that long. Stopped. I have it set so it shuts down. And there you are. Very simple, easy if you guys want. Guys, it is a great product. I'm telling you guys, if you guys need a little wireless power bank or wireless charger power bank, this is a great option. And 20% clip will keep on. Now, let's say you guys got a monitor and you need a little extra light shining down on that keyboard that doesn't actually affect the monitor itself. Well, Bezos has you covered with their monitor light bar. This light bar is actually pretty phenomenal. This light bar actually has a 10% clippable coupon. Also, has three light modes and set, uh, uh, steepness modes also, guys, which is great. We're going to show you guys this little video, another little quick video here. James here. Today we're taking a quick look at the new product, guys. This cool. is from Bezos. It is in this bright is yellow there. today. Look at that. Monitor bright yellow. Light. Now what this does is, is so that's it way. sits on your monitor and will Not angle down to light up your keyboard. But the cool part about this is the software inside this actually makes the lamp anti-glare off your monitor. So you won't really see the glare of this on your monitor. Which is great because I know light glare on a monitor can really be a pain. Now this does anywhere from 28K all the way up to 5500K. So you have three color brightness or three color uh, hues and steepless color temperature or brightnesses. So you can adjust it from dim all the way to the, the brightest settings by just steepless touching the buttons. So it does have three buttons. Love that it is option. a USB-C charging style, guys. Now you could power this off a power bank if you really wanted, but you know, this does you have a USB-C do cable uh, uh, included, so you're good there, guys. Let's pop this open. Let's show you guys what it looks like. And then we'll put it on my monitor and actually show you guys it connected up. So as I apologize, guys, we're going to grab this. First thing is the USB-C cable. Of course, it is USB-C. Now we're going to actually just jump forward. We're going to show you guys this on over the, screen. the monitor itself. You can see it actually you know, goes over the screen. I don't really need to see the whole thing. A little higher. So you can see this just a little better. 
now now that we have it up there, you guys I will point out, guys, this will not sit on a curved monitor. So if you have a curved monitor with a thicker back, it's not going to sit on there. It will sit on a laptop. It will sit on a flat monitor. So that's why I use this other monitor. Power so you know. and it is on. Very bright. I'm going to drop some lights around here. Ah. So you guys can see this. Now we have... Keep feeling like I got to sneeze. The hues. You guys see different hue there. If I hit it again, we have another hue. Now if I hit or hold this other button, you can then see you we have can a actually dim it down. Now you don't see too much glare. The glare you do see is from my windows. So we'll yeah. try to close windows. Some of those curtains. See that? I'm telling you, it's really cool to have a lamp that does glare. not actually show glare now, on a, a, view a monitor. What the actual lighting really is cool. Like. Now let's go brighter, right? All the way brightness. There you go. Hit the hue again. Now what glare you guys are seeing from it up being that high is actually the glare to the camera. So that is your effectiveness. Now we're going to be moving on to another Bezos. So that's our last Bezos of the day. This is 11-in-1 laptop USB-C port. This is 11-in-1 port, guys. James here. Cool. Today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Bezos. This is their USB-C docking show, station. Huh? This is their 11-in-1 docking station for laptops guys now this has two hdmi ports one vga now i did say it's for laptops if your pc has a usb c you can actually plug it into the pc you can actually plug it into your phone it will work on your phone i did test that three usb 3.0s one not sure why you need it on your phone but you one sdtf card right. uh reader one lane port 100 watt uh power charger guys so it does have the 100 watt port for it to charge your devices also also has one 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port that works great guys a lot of stuff in this guys it does have the five gigabyte uh port so you have the five gigs of transfer for the usb3 i was looking at my you also egg. have the one gig transfer so of the, cool arc, uh, the rj35 these things are cool let's pop this open and give you guys your first look right you guys are probably intrigued to what it looks like now, in the back, of course, I just dropped it, but it looks like... Yeah, you don't need it. Don't worry about that. Just a little uh, piece of paper. Thank you, paper, guys. Who needs a thank very you? Very simple, for? very easy. And then you have an instruction manual, of course. Then you have the device itself. We'll pop this up and look at this. Now, it is a nice little look. I actually like this, guys. This will look good. Plug it in with the USB-C into your laptop or your tablet devices, and you're good to go. Now, this will work with a wide a range of products from your laptops, tablets, desktops, you know, your MacBooks, and your Surface Galaxies phones and stuff like that. I mean, I probably could plug it into my phone, but you can. I can plug it into my phone, guys, and then you can put your micro SD cards in there. So, I was actually quite surprised that my phone recognized this as plugging it in, but it was just one of the things I had to test it out. Now, you do have multiple HDMI ports. You have USB ports. You have USB-C ports. You have an RJ45. You have a VGA port, guys. You have a micro SD port, and you have a, a, a regular SD port. You have multiple ports if you need it, guys. You know, a lot of laptops and stuff don't have all those extended ports. This gives you that option to have those. Let's say your RJ45 went out on your laptop, and you need an Ethernet plug-in to run it. This will give you that option and actually make your computer work that way. A really great product. Highly recommend it, guys, and actually quite decently priced for 11-in-1. Now, if you don't want the 11-in-1, they have a 9-in-1, and they also have a 6-in-1. So it is a great option out there, guys, if you need it. Now, we're moving on to the last product of the day, and this is from CareTouch. Guys, this is their lens wipes. This is an ammonia freestyle wipe. Guys, you can use this on any product and not worry about it, including lenses with like, let's say you have an adaptive corrective lens that has like uh, the anti-glare coating. You can use this on this and not worry about that coating being worn off, which is really great option. And plus you get 210 of these wipes in a box. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at the new product. This is their pre-moisten lens and screen cleaners. Now this is 210 pieces in this kit. This is safe for I need to pull this out and actually wipe cell phones, myself. eyeglasses, and your camera lenses and tablets and your monitors and TVs, guys. So it's an ammonia-free product. Free coming so in at their the solution end. is ammonia-free, which means it's great. Uh, for any I have two of them, buddy. Stuff. Two of those now, docking remember, stations. Remember, guys, this is a streak-free product. They really so are nice here, guys, docking if you stations. Open it up, 
you have 210 individually wrapped pre-moistening wipes, which is awesome that they give you that. Now we're going to grab one. I yeah, it's a really nice stock we're gonna session. It works work very well. I tested it out. And I have a phone. Now we're going to pop one of these open, right? We're going to yes, unmoisten this. Now you guys see, just rip it open, grab the little kit, unfold it because it is a moistened towelette. Grab like your phone. Let's grab my phone. It really is a nice compatibility. And with the option USB C, a if you nice had maybe let's see, say it really is uh, the USB C to a USB A, you could actually swap it to USB A really or USB three point one. No streaks um, whatsoever. That's really I cool. Think I this have been it right before. I do. Now your lenses, guys. You have a lens here. I'm gonna use the same thing, but pop if you have the, the little goggles, guys, like this, you can Go actually change it from USB C to USB A. Ammonia free. It will clean up. It's a great little option. And we'll wipe out. I totally forgot. Now, I had just that remember, in there. guys, you may get a little lint in there. Just use your delinter to make sure that your lens is perfectly clean. Yeah. Now, we'll if you guys thing, noticed, right? I was wiping down in a you know kind of expensive lens. It does work well and will actually clean it. But I do recommend if you're doing it for the, your camera lenses, make sure you have the little little puff ball that actually blows air to get the extra little lint out there. I mean. You're using this wipe to get the glare and stuff off. Of course, they're going to leave sometimes a little bit of lint, depending on if you have lint on your hands or just the little fabric lint. But they work really great. I mean, they clean up really, really good. Let's see if I pop over. That's kind of clean sure lens. No more any little marks. Works well. Now, I'm going to put the lens cap back on. Of yes, course. That's right. Now, I don't suggest using it the is. same piece for all of these, uh, all of them at once. So now my eyeglasses we're gonna grab some eyeglasses grimy eyeglasses these are kind use. of a little grimy a little dirty as you guys can see they are very dusty uh hopefully you guys can see how bad that really is not gonna use the same one because it's my glasses since we have a big kit here let's grab another one let's rip it open right grab us another pre-moist towelette, and it's actually nice and moist it's not super wet so don't worry about that guys it's moist enough to clean Grab your eyeglasses. Now remember, guys, Which one is live? Uh, what do you mean? Some of these aren't cheap. And we'll just start wiping it down, right? Now, since these are okay to use with protective oh, lenses and lenses that have oh. protective film or covering, Which camera is don't live? worry about ruining your glasses. Now, again, guys, very simple, oh. very easy. Just wipe it down. Go to work. Just fool my talking. If you get a little bit of lint, you know, it could be lint from you, it could be lint from the air. I do have a fan going behind me. Guys, it is really a great product, of course. It's an awesome little product. I highly recommend these CareTouch lenses. If you guys have, like, lenses, I'm, I actually use them on my monitors. And, uh, you know, they you can actually use them on my monitors. It's actually time to re-clean my monitors. I'll probably pull them out a little later and clean all my monitors again. Now, guys, that is the last product of the day, of course, guys. But I appreciate everybody being here again. I thank you guys. Now, remember, guys, later on, Nate will be on again, of course, for his four-hour stream. So make sure to pop up for that at 3 o'clock. Then tomorrow morning, again, is my deal stream. And then we roll from deal stream to co-op Saturday. Co-op Saturday is where we go into co-op gaming. Co-op gaming is, of course, we play for the king lately. Now, I believe Nikato will be joining us again. So hopefully I'll see you guys there, of course, for that stream again also. And I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, you know, love you all. Thank you all, you guys. Uh, yes, thanks for spending the day with me, of course, and keeping me quite busy. I'm going to go collapse over there on the couch or something like that. Have a great day, guys. See you guys all later.